Now, a group of students have taken time off from their Easter holidays to bring to life the wartime diary of a local teenager. The drama shows how a family was affected during the Second World War by the Battle of Britain. And it's seen through the eyes of a 17-year-old boy. Our reporter Mark Sanders has been on location with the students today in West Sussex and joins us now from Chidham. Mark. Well, this lot are trying to take us away from the bitter chill of spring 2013 back to the long, hot summer of 1940 and the Battle of Britain. They're recording the events, the life of a young man who himself was recording momentous events. Ready? Camera. Rolling. It's an iPod generation trying to capture life in a gramophone world, in particular the dark days of World War II. The film by Havant College students is about the diaries of 17-year-old Strawn Soames. From his home in Emsworth, he wrote about the Battle of Britain raging in the skies above. It was happening all around his own home, happening above your own garden. I think it homes in on the fact is that in everyday life now, that seems like such a far place away in Afghanistan and Iraq. But to have it on your own doorstep, I think it's something that is quite interesting. Good morning. Good morning, sir. The students have written the script, cast actors, and are well into shooting the film. They've had the help of a local production company, but trying to recreate the summer of 1940 during this spring has been challenging. We were filming a croquet scene, yeah. and trying to be mid-August when it was actually snowing was quite difficult, but it's been a lot of fun, very interesting. What's interested the students in this project is how the war was viewed from a teenager's perspective. It's how he's so young and he, uh, he, gets, called in, he gets called to war and it's, consider it's seeing how lucky we are, like, now and how, like, and back then their life conditions and how, like, privileged we are now. The drama will be used by Chichester Harbour Conservancy's Education Department for History Field Trips to illustrate how the war touched this tranquil place. Well, Ali Beckett from the Chichester Harbour Conservancy, which is backing this project, is here. Why do Strawn Stone stories need a broader audience, do you think? Um, I think because it is such a local story, and that's what was so interesting for us. Uh, for many young people today, the war, war is something that's so remote, isn't it? It happens in other countries. But this diary just really brings to life the fact that this was happening right overhead in our and, own homes. And what strikes me, this is not an older person's recollections, it's a teenager's account of the Battle of Britain. Yeah, and that's what's so exciting about it. It's not somebody saying, oh, I remember when. This is right through the eyes as it was happening for a teenager. And is there a particular point in the diary that is poignant for you? I think right towards the end, just before he... Um, we're, and in fact it's the lines we use at the end of the script which Tom will be delivering for us. In fact Tom who's playing Strong can recount those now. Yeah they're really poignant, they are, they are for many the war didn't seem to make that much difference. I like that too at times. I ask myself whether it's real, whether it's a nightmare. It wouldn't seem so curious if it was happening somewhere else. But both your own home and garden, it's a really nice and I think very poignant ending. And that's a 17 year old really accounting the Battle of Britain above the skies of the south coast of England. Uh, it's a very alien world to you, as I said in my report, someone from an iPod generation. But can you empathise with what Strawn experienced? I think we can, although we did a lot of research going into it, but I think essentially it is a coming of age story. I mean, he starts this off as a child fascinated by the aeroplanes, and then he grows up by the end being called to war, becoming a man, which I think is a universal message from any era, not just during the World War. But we did a lot of research as well, which helped get into the role of this character. And pretty difficult filming in these conditions at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's been very, very cold, snowing in fact today, but we've soldiered on. It's been a lot of fun despite the weather, and it's caused some difficulties, but it's all going well. Mm. Tom, thanks very much indeed, Ali Beckett. And the film will be available for public view this June. Mark Sanders, thank you. Great project. Good luck to them.